The governor says California's budget problems are getting worse by the second. And if you want to see it for yourself, all you have to do is stop by his office. We have here a clock on the side. As you can see, those numbers are changing all the time. And this represents 35 days since we called the first uh, uh, special session. And here you see the numbers. Schwarzenegger will plant this giant clock outside his office to underscore what he calls an embarrassing performance by the state legislature. By his calculations, the state's losing $470 every minute by spending more than it takes in. That means California's budget deficit grows by $40 million every day and could reach $30 billion by late next year unless lawmakers stop the financial bleeding. The need to address four serious problems close the current shortfall in the budget, stimulate the economy, help the people stay in their homes, and restore the state's unemployment insurance fund. They met, they debated, they postured, and they did nothing. The Assembly and Senate are at a stalemate. Democrats want a compromise, a plan that's half program cuts and half new taxes, most notably raising the car tax back to where it was in the 90s. But Republicans refuse to raise taxes. They want reforms like a state spending cap, selling off real estate, and privatizing some things like the lottery and state prisons. Republicans agree the state needs revenue, but they want to get it by allowing offshore oil drilling not by raising taxes. But as lawmakers argue, that clock keeps ticking. The governor says by the end of the month, the state will have to pull the plug on $5 billion in construction projects, costing California 200,000 jobs. And if the stalemate lasts through February, state workers will open the mailbox and find an IOU instead of a paycheck. In the newsroom, Jonathan Bloom, Cron 4 News.